couple episodes ago, we collected water samples to show how we test for water quality out in the field. Well, this week on the Verbrugge View, we're going to look at the back end of that process. We're at the Tri-City Lab at the Bloomington Water Treatment Plant to see the work that City of Bloomington employees are doing to make sure that the water that we drink is safe and taste really good. So come along on this week's Verbrugge View. So we know that the water that comes out of the lakes comes through here for some testing, but there's a lot more that happens here at the Tri-City Lab. So with me is Deb Wilson, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what happens inside the lab here. Let me first start with the name, Tri-City Lab. Talk about that. Correct. The Tri-City Lab was established years ago before I was here. Um, and it includes the city of Bloomington, the city of St. Louis Park, and the city of Edina. They just kind of got together and decided that let's make a lab that we all can use and we'll just split the cost of everything. And it's not just those two cities, but we also farm out services uh, to other uh, agencies as well, correct? Correct, we do. We, um, just through word of mouth, it's gotten out, it's gotten out that we do this testing, we can get a fast turnaround time for people, and we're state certified, which makes it even better for everyone else. So we do lots of different cities in the metro area, and since we're so centralized, it's really easy to get here. So tell me a little bit about the primary focus of the work that you do here in the lab. The primary focus is actually for the city of Bloomington residents. Um, we are testing the water um, as it comes into the plant, as it's in the plant, and once it leaves the plant, and it's out in the distribution system. So we're doing lots of testing before, during, during, and after but to keep everything safe and make sure all the um, water quality parameters are what they should be. We test for a lot of chemistries and biology. So there's things that were um, mandated mm -hmm. to test for, which is really just bacteria. Okay. And then we take it a little further and we test for a lot of chemistries. So we, we're always testing for pH, alkalinity, we can test for metals, um, the hardness level. Since we're a, a water softening plant, we right. want to make sure a hardness level um, is where it should be. Um, and that's important for the mere fact that we don't want to flint Michigan. Right. And our hardness level is very important as far as the corrosivity of the water. And the unique thing about our water system is that we have our own wells that we draw from. We also receive water from the city of Minneapolis. Correct. And so are there differences in the water we're drawing from the well and the water that's coming into our system from Minneapolis? Yeah, so that's that's a party in itself. So Minneapolis is treating surface water, which has no hardness for the most part. They draw it, from the Mississippi River. They draw from the Mississippi River, and it's low in magnesium, it's low in calcium, and so they actually do lime softening as well, mm -hmm. and they have to add things to their water. So what we're trying to do, since we're getting water from them and we're making water, we try to make the water quality similar so there's no reactions out in the system. If the water was unsimilar, it can, all the molecules and stuff can create problems. So we are actually creating our water to be more like their water. So it's a giant chemistry it experiment is. every it day. Is. That's why we do so much water. testing to make sure everything's, you know, they're sending it to us okay and it's mixing in the distribution okay. So we have some equipment here to do a little chemistry experiment. We do, we're gonna do a hardness test. So these are the samples we collected in the distribution system. This particular sample is actually our finished water that we've collected after it's gone through the water treatment process. This sample here you're gonna pour off into this graduated cylinder to the 50 mil mark. Ooh, that's pretty good. How's that? <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> All right, now that I've poured it to the 50 milliliter yep, level. you're gonna pour it into the 250 mil beaker. Okay. Not a certain amount, the whole thing? The whole thing. All right. And then you're gonna add a stir bar to it. Hold a on. stir bar? So this is a stir bar. It's a magnet that I'm putting Correct. into the water. Correct. So that it's constantly stirring while we're testing it. Correct. Okay. And then we're gonna put it on 
This is the stir plate. There's a magnet in here, and as soon as I turn it on... Well, look at that. So what is this doing other than um, entertaining us endlessly <laughs> by well, watching it spin it's, around? it's getting ready to mix a few chemicals. We have to okay. add a few chemicals. So I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to do... There you go. Just like that? Yep. All right. And then you're going to open this and put one little scoop of this. So when we add this, however many mils we're going to add, yep. we're going to add it real slow so you can see the change. Right. And then when it turns blue, that's our stopping point. So I don't know if I want to be watching what's happening in the water or if I want to be watching my level. And down to 24. Okay, well, yep, now more. just drop, drop by drop. Okay. Okay. That's the blue we want, and that's an overshot of the blue. So then I would look up here, I went from 20 mils to 25.5. I times that by 20, and that would be our hardness level. Jamie was an excellent student. He could work in the lab. So next time we need some help, we're calling him. <laughs> <laughs> I learned an entire semester of chemistry overnight when I was in college, so hopefully uh, my ability to learn very quickly is still the same as it used to be. I know I learned a lot today, Deb. Thank you for taking the time uh, to share this with us, and hopefully you've learned a lot too. So not only are the folks here at our Tri-City Lab making sure that our water is the best tasting water anywhere, uh, we're also making sure that it is safe every day, and we're meeting that test every day. We'll see you next time on the Verbrugge View.